od katowni do bykowni krwią skąpana ziemia, odkąd dławi Ukrainę ciężka ręka Kremla, szlak ubity przez lud bity, śmierci przeznaczony, rozwścieczyli się bandyci, partii szwadrony, nauczyciel czy inżynier, maszynista, siewca, zbóż, im ktoś lepszy, tym go szybciej, hen na szafot, hen pod nóż. Zabijali bez wyroków, winy nie szukali, krew niewinnych przepadała w wozach dno ze stali. Gdyby w lesie tym zabici wstali w jednej chwili, drzew czy nawet zdziebeł lichych im by nie starczyło. Zbrodni tej okrutnej, krwawej zapomnieć nie sposób. Głos zawitych nawołuje. Trwoży serca popiół. Polish Sub will celebrate the 81st anniversary of the Katyn massacre by um, going to the Katyn Memorial uh, in London and uh, uh, lighting up a candle for the victims of the probably the most the biggest murder and uh, human um, disaster in history, um, which was the Katyn murder by Soviets on the Polish officers. A few words about the Katyn Memorial. Katyn Monument um, in London was the first monument ever in the West that has been constructed. And it happened um, in 1976, um, that is uh, 36 years after the actual cutting uh, murder took place, which was the spring of 1940. It's located in Gunsbury Cemetery uh, in London, and um, one of the most important things is to remember is that many, many people have worked towards building this monument. Um, it was also very controversial because a lot of the uh, Soviet um, and Russian, at the time communist uh, government, did not want this monument to be erected at all. Uh, so how did um, the monument has been um, conceived. Um, so uh, in October 1971, an Anglo-Polish association called the Katyn Memorial Fund was established in London and it was headed by Lord Barnaby, uh, who was the member of the British House of Lords at that time. The committee was composed of uh, other lords, uh, like Lord Oswald and uh, Airy Navy, Toby Jessel, and uh, also the British writer Louis Fritz Gibbon, author of books on cutting, uh, who was also uh, appointed an honorary secretary. Um, the design of the monument um, was actually um, together with Count Stefan Zamoyski. So the monument in Katyn, uh, of Katyn in uh, Gunsbury um, has um, aroused a very, very big interest from Polonia um, of many countries across the world, especially in the Western world, obviously, because in Poland we never knew ever anything about this until much, much later. Um, and uh, at the same time, uh, it was arousing a lot of concerns from the authorities of the Soviet Union. The Soviet ambassador to the United Kingdom at that time, who was uh, Vladimir Semyonov, strongly protested against this project and wrote a letter to the Major of London um, uh, of that um, borough of Kensington and Chelsea, and he demanded uh, that uh, he is not allowing this monument to be erected. So finally on July the 1st in 1976, um, Gunsbury Cemetery um, solemnly laid the foundation stone for the construction of the monument, Katyn Monument. Despite, uh, despite further protests by um, Simeonov, uh, who was the ambassador of the USSR uh, at that time, 
who called it a provocation. And um, despite of all of this, the monument was open on the 18th of September in 1976 and around 8,000 people attended the ceremony including representatives of Polish public life and uh, foreign visitors and the monument was unveiled by the um, by Maria Chełmecka the widow of widow of Tadeusz Chełmecki commissioner um, of the border guard murdered in uh, Tver Today is the 81st anniversary of the Katyn. Katyn monument has been raised here nearby in Gunnersbury Cemetery where we are today. And today we came here to say our prayers and say our uh, deep thoughts to all the victims of the Katyn. Uh, what I also would like to say that there were many, many people who have worked very hard for this monument to be erased here in Gunnensbury because a lot of people, especially from um, political scene at that time in 70, in the 70s where this uh, cutting memorial has been uh, erased, um, a lot of people were opposite this idea, especially the government here in Britain, but also the government of Russia who was protesting but many many people who have contributed to this cutting memorial to be here one of those people is General Ludwig Zombkowski who is lying here who has died in 1973 we say thank you to him he's a very honored um, an honorable general of the Polish army on the Andes army who fought in Monte Cassino and uh, thanks to his work and many other Poles like himself, this cutting memorial has been with us here. Thank you.